This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can apply textures to objects in GIMP to give them this distressed sort of look or style. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out the GIMP series, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the major tools and features in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So I'm going to get started here in GIMP. The first thing I want to do is create a new document. So I'll go to File, New, and I want to size this document at 800 by 800 pixels. And click OK. And over here on this background layer, I just want to right click that and go to Add Alpha Channel just to make sure that we have transparency behind it in case we need to use that. And what I want to do now is I want to take the object that I'd like to apply this texture to and bring it into the canvas here. And for this tutorial, I'll be using this logo for an example. If you don't have an object that you'd like to apply it to yourself, I'll give you, I'll, I'll put a link to this design here in the description of the video if you just want to follow along with what I'm doing. So I'm going to copy this, edit copy, and I'm going to paste this as a new layer. I'm going to go to edit, paste as, new layer, and it's going to place it right in the middle of the document there. And what I want to do now is you're going to see this new layer in here. I'm going to right click that layer and go to add layer mask. And the layer mask I want to use is white full opacity and go ahead and click add. And nothing's going to happen on your screen, but if you notice here in the layers menu, you're going to notice a second little thumbnail is uh, created right next to the original thumbnail. This thumbnail is the layer mask. This is the actual layer and this is the, and this is the layer mask. And how the layer mask works is it allows you to control the opacity and transparency of the layer based on a grayscale where dark colors make the object transparent where lighter colors make the uh, the object more opaque and it's much easier for me to demonstrate how this works than it is to explain it so I'm gonna come over here and open up my texture image in order for this to work you're gonna need texture images like this where they're made of black and white and I'll put a link in the description to 15 of them that I created you can download them for free and use them all however you'd like I'm going to take this texture image and I'm gonna apply it in the layer mask And what's gonna happen is the black areas of this image are going to become transparent on that logo and the white areas of this image are going to remain visible. So I'm going to go to edit, copy, and I'm going to come back over here. And when I do this, I want to make sure I have the, uh, the layer mask window selected and not the logo. I want the layer mask selected and I'll go to edit, paste. And it's going to paste it as a floating layer, as you can see here above the uh, above the rest of the image here. And if you notice, the black areas of that image became transparent on this logo here. And let me just zoom out by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel a couple of times. You could take the move tool now and you can move this around and change the positioning of this distressed sort of effect. And if you want, you can even scale it down. I'm going to grab the unified transform tool. And I'm going to click on that and I'll grab one of these corners here, hold control and shift and scale it down like that. Then press enter to finalize it. Now I want to grab the move tool. And if you notice, you can move this around some more to see where you'd like it applied. And I'm going to leave it right about there. That looks pretty good. And once I have it positioned how I like, I'm just going to click this little green anchor right here that says anchor the floating layer. And it's going to anchor it into the layer mask. And when it, you could turn off the, the, uh, the visibility of the bottom layer now, the background layer. And you can notice that's actual transparency in there. It, it took the black areas of that texture and created transparency in the logo that we applied the layer mask to. So let me turn that back on. I'm going to come back up here to this layer. Now if you click on the actual, uh, the actual logo layer, the thumbnail to the left, you'll notice that you can now edit this design. You can color in here and if you notice, it does not fill in those transparent areas because it is still applying this layer mask on top of it. If you want to finalize it, let me just undo that real quick. If you want to finalize it, you can click on this, right click it and go to apply layer mask. And now it's finalized. It's no longer a layer mask. That's now part of the actual image there. So I personally don't like to do that. I just like to leave it as a layer mask so that I can go back and remove the layer mask later on if I want to, which you can do by right clicking and going to uh, delete layer mask. And there you are, you're back to where you started. So. I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about applying a distressed sort of texture to your objects using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.